Hey everybody, this is Brooke with Traveling Uke. You. You're watching a tutorial for I Feel It Coming, um, the weekend featuring Daft Punk song. <laughs> um, so this is my simplified version. Um, that doesn't mean that the chords are very simple, it just means there's less of them. Um, but I will show you in the comment box below um, a couple of chord variations that you can use if you want to spice it up a little bit. Um, this version, or this lesson, will have four chords. One strum pattern, and there's two different sections of the song, so I'll teach you the pattern for each of those sections. So first I'm going to show you what it looks like and sounds like. Tell me what you really like, baby, you can save my time. We don't ever have to fight, just take it step by step. I can see it in your eyes, cause they never tell me lies. I can feel that body shape. G minor 7, so that's the bottom two strings of the first fret and the second string of the second fret, second string of the second fret. <laughs> G minor 7. Uh, C minor 7, so that's barring the third fret. And G sharp sustain 2. So, sounds complicated, but it's just the same position for C minor 7. And then the third string of the fourth fret. It's just like a nice, pretty, bright, happy sound. Um, and then D sharp. So D sharp is the bottom string of the first fret and the top three strings of the third fret. I play it with my thumb over the top like this. That's probably the hardest chord in the song. So those are the four chords. G minor 7, C minor 7. Try not to flip you guys off. <laughs> G sharp, sustain 2, and D sharp. All right, now for the strum pattern. Uh, I'm going to show you on G minor 7, like this. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. Um, that last little teeny up is kind of a hiccup, that's what I call it, hiccup strum. Um, it's like, it's not really a full strum, it's like a little half strum, little hiccup. You don't have to play it. Um, for me, it just comes naturally like in the rhythm of your hand doing the strum pattern. Uh, so if you don't do it, it will sound like this. And you can also replace it with a mute. So I'll show you both of those right now. So that's without it. And this is with a mute instead. For the strum pattern. Now for um, the format of the song. So there's two different little patterns we're gonna do. They're very similar. Um, and this song is in kind of a sandwich format. So there's verse, pre-chorus, and then chorus. Um, the verse and the chorus the same pattern. So they're the bread, and then the pre-chorus is in the middle. So this is the pattern for the verse and the chorus. G minor 7, C minor 7, G sharp, and D sharp. So it's the order that we learn the chords, essentially. And we're gonna play each of those chords for one strum pattern, for one round of the strum pattern, like this. G minor seven, C minor seven, G sharp, D sharp. G minor seven, and then we're doing it again. Oops, sorry. <laughs> That's a different song. What you really like, baby, I can take the time. I have to fight to take it step by step. Um, that's the 
that's the verse. And of course, the chorus or the hook is the I feel the coming. For the pre chorus, um, which is the you've been thinking of love and what it did to you, yes, <laughs> it's that part. Um, all we're gonna do is switch the G minor 7 and the C minor 7. So we start with C minor 7, G minor 7, then G sharp, and then D sharp. So I find it easiest if you use um, your middle finger for the bar chord because your uh, pointer finger is going to anchor that G minor 7. So you're just sliding this middle finger like back and forth instead of trying to get this all the way up to do the bar. So I've got um, my middle finger, trying not to flip you guys off, <laughs> C minor 7. the bar for that G sharp. Instead of love and what it did to you, don't have to run, I don't want to chew the food. And then we repeat that. Um, so yeah, I think that's it for your little sandwich. Feel that sandwich coming? Um, <laughs> So I'll put the um, patterns for all the parts of the song below in the comment box, um, as well as some chord variations, which basically are just um, the simple versions of the G minor and C minor and G sharp. And that's it. See you next time with another tutorial. Bye-bye.